everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivorian Spice back at it again with another match reaction. And remember guys, if you're new to this channel, remember to subscribe, smash that like button and remember to share because why? Sharing Ivorian Spice is caring. Boom! Hey guys and today guys, it's Aston Villa 1, Manchester United. Free, you don't know Manchester United collected three points, stopping Manchete from getting the Premier League title. They fought raw the moment Aston Villa went 1 0 up. We are Premier League champions, we are the champions, we are the Premier League, we are the champions. No, you're not, bro. You're not to wait, not on our account, not on our record, never, never on the, our account that Manchester City will win the league. We'll just hand it to them, like here. Here, like, knock on the door. Hi, hi noisy neighbours. Heard you're new to this place. We'd like to welcome you with some humble free points for you guys to win the league. Hell no! That will never happen. Not under our watch. And I, and I was so pleased that the guys stopped it because I was thinking, the moment Aston Villa went one up, I was like, no, we don't want to be in a situation where Man City lost yesterday, Chelsea beat them, and then we go and hand them the title, you know? We want them to wait. You wait an extra week, Man City, just for that title. But Manchester United getting these three points, getting these, securing this second place that we that needs to be done. Perfect, absolutely wonderful. Second half, Manchester United performance. Cavani coming on, doing his thing. Oh! <laughs> Cavani, El Matador, Tarzan, Mowgli, John Book. That's who he is. All four in one. He's beyond the Holy Trinity, bruv. Man's got the four jungle book, Mowgli, Tarzan, everything, all of that wildness in one. And I'm so pleased again, coming on in the second half, scoring a delightful header as well to make it 3-1 for us. And then to, for just, to, just the icing on the cake, guys. Mason, Gunman Greenwood, wonderful today. It's the goal, the winning goal, making him the highest Premier League teenager scorer for Manchester United and what an achievement it has been for Mason Greenwood considering the fact that the start of the season he wasn't starting too tough he had a problem he had a couple of issues with his mate dying and also England those pum pums you know the English media as well those pum pums you get me the sun and etc you know them pum pums there trying to destroy our young buck's life you know but no he has prevailed you know he's come through the mud and he's now just showing forever green Mason Greenwood. Thank you, bro. Congratulations to you. You're doing a thing. Mention that you're doing a thing, you know. Just get those W's. We're not ever going to lose away. Are we ever, guys? Because I, I just don't see it, guys. We can't get an away defeat right now. We can't even buy one. In fact, if we were selling it to you guys, we were mentioning that three, way, three points away, we, away defeat, you know, you know. Do you want it? Do you want it? And then we're like, nah, bro. Cause we're selling it for expensive fees, you know. If you want an away victory, we'll give we're charging it for two, three, four million, you know. You know, and you're not down to be paying four million all the time, you know. In fact, twenty million, bruv, if you really want that away on the field record taken off of us, twenty mil, fam. Cause Manchester United are doing it. And let's go straight into the game, guys. Woo! Manchester United going one nil down with that pum pum Bertrand Traore. Do you know what, yeah? McSauce. It's all McSauce's fault, guys. Do you know why? Because he's the one that lost the ball after Fred just giving him a casual calm pass. Pastor Fred preaching and saying, yo, yo, in Jesus' name we pray, bro. Here's the ball, fam. McSauce, obviously, Pagan don't know who God is, don't believe in Jesus, probably just thought, oh, 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 I don't know what to do with this. And then gave it away to Aston Villa's oppositions, you know, those attackers, for Bertrand Traoré to get the ball and just score an easy goal, to be honest with you. And I, I just thought to myself, I even saw Lindelof on the floor, sorry, Vindelof on the floor, and he's just like all over the place when it came to Bertrand Traoré. And I thought to myself, we really, really need some very, very good We'll play midfielders. See if we're doing gonna do the CDM thing, because I hate it. Let's get some very good players, CDM that's very good on the ball and not have to distribute because McSauce. What am I calling McSauce? McMail! It's it's straight up McMail, guys. Pastor Fred, you know, done okay. Out of those two, Pastor Frederick is the better pastor out of those two, you know. You get me? It's in his name, Pastor. You know, he's pasting, you know. Anyway, guys. Half time, Villa 1 0, Manchester United Holics thinking, we we blowed it, we're giving Man City the, the Premier League title. Hell no! 
Hell no. Second half, you see us coming out of nowhere. Bruno Fernandes scoring a penalty, customary penalty. Winning it by Paul Pogba just doing his thing. Trickery or two. You get me. Getting tripped on the floor. Winning that. It's so funny that Graham Sooner said he was theatrical, you know. Diving or whatever on the floor. He knew it was a pen. But for Graham Sooner to just, you know... Hit digs and slide digs on Paul Pogba saying it's a bit theatrical. I'm like thinking, yo, you, you really got Paul Pogba's dick in your mouth, like. You really got him when you're having sex with your wife. He's all in, in your mind, bro. He's, in, he's inside you, fam. Let go of it. Let go, Graham Cena. Just let go. But yes, Bruno Fernandes scoring. Oh, lovely. Fernandes doing his thing. And then, of course, my guy, my gunman, Mason, gunman, Greenwood doing his thing. Step over to a turn, twisting and turning. My man, Mings inside out. Boom, boom, boom. Slapping it in the corner. Lovely goal by Mason, gunman, Greenwood. Making him the highest teenager goal scorer in the Premier League for us, you know. Surpassing the great Wayne Rooney. And for that, it's an achievement, incredible achievement, and incredible milestone. Three one again, my guy, El Matador, Edison Cavani, with that lovely header, lovely cross by Mark Rashford from the right hand side for Cavani to just head it in and oh, just all I say, nod it in, guide it into the bottom corner. Cavani again making a difference when he comes on because I thought in the first half with Mark Rashford up front left the final third vacated. You know that nine where the tracker needs to be in the penalty box vacated vacated it's like the moving house sign was up you know you know you know letting agency you know for sale because that penalty box was for sale bro where was mark Shreshford in there at times i thought paul pogba are you playing up front are you a false nine because you was way forward you technically played behind rashford at times or in front of rashford but yeah one thing about rashford playing up front and mason green was certainly playing up for him or um, anthony marshall playing up from vacating the box just just it's just absent you know it's really absent you know and there's one thing they need to learn from edison cavani but yeah apart from that Manchester united winning 3-1 brilliant brilliant you know we just can't stop winning getting these w's you know it's just been good for us you know right now all these guys right now thinking like yo europa league final i'm finally gonna get my creds I don't know, fam. We'll see what happens to you, Ollie, if you get your creds, you know. Man's got that one finger behind your back, you know. This turn into this, turn into that. And now it's that one finger behind your back. And it's just, it's just, it's just, technically, it's not even the one finger. It's that fingernail that's still touching the back of your hand. Because I got your back. But it's just like this. It's really just like that. But yeah, he's getting gas, bro. And yeah, he should get gas. He's doing well so far, you know. And hopefully... He wins something, you know, to just to prove himself right. But guys, man of the match today, guys, I'm gonna have to say it's got to be my man. Mason, gunman, Greenwood for me. Beautiful today, man. He was just doing his thing today, man. Getting really involved. He should have scored a couple of goals, but he didn't. Donkey of the match has to go to McMail, Scott McTominay. Trash today. Just trash, trash, trash. Message to you, Manchester United Holics enjoy it because next week we've got two games in the space of what two days tuesday and then a thursday is that they're really punishing us i even deeped it guys why they're punishing us making us play on a thursday when they can have allowed us to play on a friday there's nothing going on on friday i get that the fa cups on a saturday but we can also play on a saturday you know we're not playing until like what the 18th on a tuesday again the following week how unfair is this because of what we did, man? Screw you guys, man. You're full of shit. Absolutely full of shit. Oh no, Super League, we need to always come together. Let's boycott it. Let's go to the stadium and ramp it up. Two weeks later, oh my god, it's wrong. You shouldn't be doing that. You shouldn't come to your stadium and invade. You can protest, but not invade. But it's for the same reason that you made us get angry for in the, in the first place. You know, back us. Pum pums. Men don't rate them, you know. I honestly don't rate them. But guys, this has been your match reaction by Ivorian Spice, you get me? As always, remember to follow the socials, you know. Remember to follow the official Instagram account which of Red United TV, which is Red United TV. One, baby. And remember to follow the official TikTok account, of course, which is Red United TV. And also remember to follow my personal Instagram account, which is Ivorian underscore Spice. And which goes across the same for the Twitter and also the Snapchat. 
And as always, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and remember to share because sharing our foreign spice is caring. And of course, guys, big ups, big ups, big ups, MU Talks, you know. MU Talks is sorting out my banner, you know, guys. As you can see, I've got a new banner on the YouTube homepage of Ready Night TV. Check that out. Check out at MU Talks, you know, on the Twitter as well. You know, what big up, big ups, my man. Of course, also trying to fix me up a banner. And last but not least, guys, my ladies, my ladies, remember to share to your ex-boyfriends. Remember to share the link to your current boyfriend. Remember to share the link to the guy in the chicken salad who's been giving you free wings. Also been asking for your number, but you gave him your Snapchat and he's satisfied with that. Remember to share to the guy that's been trying to move to you at the bus stop. And he's been asking for your number, but you've told him that I've got a man, but he's also trying to say that your butt is though anyway. Remember to share to the guy that you come across at the train station that's been trying to move to you, even though you're telling that you've got a man. He's out here telling you, but we can be friends though. Remember to share that to him and remember to share to the pastor that's been trying to inappropriately invite you to prayer meetings at his house with no one else but just you. Remember to share the links to him. Remember to share the link to your dad's friends who keep telling you my oh my you have grown and remember to share to that voice when that keeps buying you lunch at work all the time and when you share him this thing and he says what is this tell him you found a man that does it way better than you and that's i for spice you get me bigs up peace and love remember to keep it united and remember to keep it ready night